The Sarmatic in volcanic construction. At the time of this recording, it's the newest model in the entire Firewire surfboard lineup to get the volcanic construction. Now here at SurfRev, I answer five major questions. One, durability and construction. Two, versatility. Three, affordability and value. Four, performance. Five, marketability. So let's talk about durability. Durability wise, I give this board a five star. I have a few other carbon fiber boards in my quiver, so I have a benchmark to run this board against. It seems like the board still has a durability of typical carbon fiber, but it has a flex of an epoxy board, which is a huge plus. Now, the fact that it has a white color brushed lightly across the surface of the volcanic carbon layer, it tends to deflect heat a lot more efficiently as opposed to if it were all black. Now I had a pretty active first session on this board. And at the end of the session, when I got it out of the water, I took a look upon close inspection, zero pressure dents. So added points for the great choice, uh, adding the white paint to deflect the heat. And I feel the volcanic construction is pretty bomb proof, especially if you tend to get a lot of pressure dents on the deck of your board like I do. Number two, versatility. Now as far as where this board would typically go in your quiver, I feel that this board would go right next to your high performance short boards. Now, this is basically a high performance short board for waves between two to seven feet, uh, even bigger, uh, two to eight feet plus. You can pull up videos of Kelly Slater surfing this board at like seven to eight foot uh, sunset. He's throwing some pretty wild maneuvers around with ease with this board. Now you can immediately feel the lift that this board gets, but it's a weird sensation because you also feel the grip that the board has on the wave face as well. So it's a great combination of speed and grip. Now I felt this board die pretty quick on the flat spots on the smaller waves. Uh, and when the wave lost any type of power, this board was slowing down pretty considerably. So, I mean, this further drives home my conclusion of this board being a high performance wave board. Now, if I'm gonna give you a pretty honest review coming from someone who's not a pro surfer, I'd say that this board would be surfing waves much like the shadow or the ghost from Pizel. However, where there are typically, where, where there typically would be surf, um, you know, larger waves, you normally would have boards that you would have to add some length to, like if you typically ride a 6.0, then uh, on big firing waves with a lot of power, you'd probably be doing a 6.2, 6.3, 6.4. Uh, whereas you, on a board like the Somatic, this board, you would be scaling it down to like 5.10, 5.11. Um, if you didn't want to surf that kind of length, then you basically would uh, stay in the pocket with this board. That's where this board would fit into your quiver if you wanted to surf it on a more, in a smaller package, on a smaller profile because of the modern plane hull template. As far as affordability goes, the board stays under the $1,000 price point. It's totally worth the money. Again, the construction makes it super durable. Now, this is basically a helium-2 construction with a layer of volcanic fiber, if you will, introduced into the lamination. So, I mean, I, I feel this board will last you years uh, at the least, uh, at three to five years. And like most fire wires, they tend to keep their secondhand value much higher than most other boards, at least 25, 30% if you're selling it on the second, you know, secondhand market. Now I'd say it's at par with most other boards with weaker construction and nowhere near as good of a shape. So I say value wise, it's a five star out of five. Affordability, four out of five stars, not the cheapest board around, uh, but definitely, definitely worth the money.